everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And I am Rodney1279. Welcome to Season 9 and Episode 23 of Tic Tac Go. Glad to have you with us. We have an awesome time. I can feel it. So we do have a little bit of an audience here. So let's go ahead and get Tic Tac Go started. Our um, challenger that is going to be playing today is Ethan Pumpkinhead. How you doing, Ethan? I'm good. How are you, Mr. Rodney? Good, good, good. Well, are you ready to face against Mike? Yep. Good luck to you. And Mike is our five-time champion with a total of $337,145 in cash and a car. How you doing, Mike? Doing all right. Brought a little guest with us. It is Pikachu. Say hi, Pikachu. Pikachu. Okay. And hi, Pikachu. Yes. Well, Mike, are you ready to go ahead and see if you can start your next five wins? Let's do this. All right. Gotcha. All right, so let's go ahead and play Tic-Tac-Doe. Let's reveal the nine categories that are in today's game. Y'all know how to play. Here it is. All right, we have TV, film, and books, the $10,000 question, game shows, breaking news, pub quiz, History and Geography, Vintage Cartoons, Double or Nothing, and Toys and Games. You know in the Double or Nothing category, if you choose that subject and get that question correctly, you can choose the risk scale box and try to go for two boxes if you want to. But if you miss a question, you'll lose both boxes in that Double or Nothing category, okay? So, with that said... Huh? It's like those are good categories, by the way. Oh, yes. Yeah, great categories. All right. So I'm going to start my timer right here so we'll be in one accord. Okay. And, uh, Mike, you can go ahead and start picking your category. Which category would you like to start with? Oh, uh, I got it with my safe harbor and game. Insurance. Going game shows, trying to start on a sixth win. You have 30 seconds to answer each question, Mike. Here's the first question. The first step to auditioning for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is what? Is it A, attending an interview, B, taking a test, C, submitting a CV, or D, entering a lottery? That would be taking a test. Taking a test is correct. And you put $2,500 in the pot, we have $2,500 in the pot and we shuffle. Ethan, which category would you like to start? Bless you. It was cough, but thank you. Oh, sorry. Anyways, let's do game shows. Going game shows, second time in the category. Question on game shows is this, Ethan. How often can someone compete on Wheel of Fortune? Is it A, once a year, B, twice a year, C, once in a lifetime, or D, once a month? I'm going to try, try D, once a month. No. No, once a month is wrong. It's once in a lifetime. Once you complete Peter on Wheel of Fortune, you don't get to compete again on Wheel. So, we still have $2,500 in the oh, pot. The same favorite. Yep. We shuffle the board up. Uh oh. All right, and it goes to um, uh, Mike. Which category? Where to, Pikachu? Pika. Game shows again, please. Third time in the category. Question on game shows. <laughs> it's like you seen the game show a lot. Yeah. Jeopardy winnings limit. The Jeopardy winnings limit was $75,000. All additional winnings back in the day was given to what? Is it A, to charity, B, distributed to other contestants, C, paid in taxes, or D, spent on, pri spent on the prize for the winner? It was given to charity. Obviously, that's right. The most famous example being Frank Spangenberg giving his excess winnings to the retired police officer's pension program for the NYPD. Right, over thirty-two thousand, over thirty-two thousand dollars worth, because he had over one hundred seven thousand dollars at the time. We have five thousand oh. dollars in the in the pot, and we shuffle. Ethan, uh, where to? 
Let's do toys and games for the block. Okay, toys and games for the block. Okay, remember, y'all have y'all helps. You have your skips. You're 50, 50, and 30 seconds if you need it, Ethan. So here's your question on toys and games. In playing this game, what word would you shout out when you have only one card remaining? Is it A, Yahtzee, B, Rummy, C, Uno, or D, Fish? Uno. That's right. I know that's right. Yeah, that's right. Good job. So now we have $7,500 in the pot and we shuffle it. All right, Mike. Okay, let me try for the two-way trap with game shows. Fourth time in that category. Question on game shows. What year did Vanna White become hostess of the Wheel of Fortune within two years? That would be 1982. Exactly right. Good job. We have $10,000 in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Ethan. Let's go game shows for the block. Fifth time in the category. Question on game shows. Jeopardy champion Ken Jennings lost to a supercomputer made by whom? Is it A, Apple, B, IBM, C, Microsoft, or D, Google? IBM. IBM is correct. We have $12,500 in the pot. I saw the IBM on YouTube that Watson was on there, too. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. I was say that too, yeah. Yep, we have $12,500 up there, and we suffer. Okay, uh, Mike. Cool. Now, go. now what are you going to do? Let's go vintage cartoons for the victory, Wink. Okay, so you get this question right on vintage <laughs> cartoons. It'll be tic-tac-doe, $17,500. And your wings will be well over $354,000. We're going to vintage cartoons. You still have all your help. Here we go. Vintage Cartoons, the question. Where did Felix the Cat get his magic? Is it A, the Magic 8 Ball, B, the Cane Wand, C, his tail, or D, his bag of tricks? Uh, that would be his bag of tricks. Let's see. That's correct. So you got one right. Get this next one right, and you'll have Tic-Tac-Doe at $17,500, Mike. Okay. I used to read the Felix, Felix the Cat comic strips in the newspaper. Awesome. Here's the next one for Vintage Cartoon. This is for the win. Who was this duel? What was the duel ultimate mission? And I'm referring to... Um, okay, what was the name of this cartoon? Okay, what was this duo ultimate mission in the pink and the brain? Okay, and the uh, choices are a free meal, a free meal, winning a race, world domination, or arresting the Animaniacs. World domination. That's definitely a win. I believe that's Tic Tac Doe. Yeah, Tic Tac Doe, Mike. Good job. That was another show I used to watch. Yep, I yep, yep. The Animaniacs, but now it wasn't. Okay, so uh, Mike, you have won $17,500. That's your sixth win. Your winnings now, as it stands, is $354,645. And you're going to go against that dragon for six times shortly. Well, uh, Ethan, you might play another game again because we might do another episode, okay? All right, great uh, job, Mike and Pikachu. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and do the Beat the Dragon game. All right. I loved watching Pinky and the Brain on Kids WB way back in the late 90s. All right. Yeah, I used to watch it growing up when I was a kid, you know? The second that question came up, yep, that was going to be a win. Yep, yep, I yep. I still love the Amaniac, you know, he and Brain and all. Okay, so once yeah, we I, have yeah, the, yeah. the Beat the Dragon game up, we're going to start the Beat the Dragon game. Come over here, Michael. Let's do the Beat the Dragon game. Ooh. All right, 
guys to try to win your uh, sixth game. All right, so uh, the object of the game is for you to reach $10,000 or more or get the ticket and tag before seeing my arch nemesis, How the Dragon. Now, if you manage to get $10,000 or more or get the ticket and tag, we'll give you $50,000 in cash, Mike. Now, if you manage to get the ticket and tag on your first two picks, we have a jackpot over here that has not been won in a while of $210,000 in cash, okay? And that will take right. you that will take you well over half a million dollars. Are you ready, Mike? I'm ready. All right, let's go ahead and cover the board up. And if you're ready, you can go ahead and start picking. Okay. Well, I'm going to start in the lower left with lucky number seven. Number seven. Let's see what we have behind number seven. $5,000. So that means that the jackpot goes up by $5,000. It's $215,000 here. Hang on one second while I flip this over. There we go. Flipping the uh, numbers over. So it's at $215,000, Mike. Now you can go ahead and uh, keep playing or you can stop. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go to the middle and number five. Going to number five. Let's see what we have behind number five. $1,000, you have $6,000. Do we stop or go? We're going to go. We're going to finish up the diagonal with number three. All you need is $4,000. It's $4,000 behind number three. $1,500, you have $7,500. Do we stop or go? We're gonna go. We're gonna go to number nine. Number nine. All you need is twenty-five hundred dollars. Buy number nine. Is it there? You did it! Another five dollars to the jackpot. All right. So we give you another fifty thousand dollars, Mike. We have the jackpot, the tournament jackpot, at one hundred forty-five dollars. So right now, um, let's reveal and see where the dragon is. So the dragon is uh, on number six, and the tick and attack is behind two and eight. So Mike, you have the fifty thousand dollars. We add your previous winnings of three hundred and fifty-four thousand six hundred and forty-five dollars. Your grand total right now, as it stands, is. $404,645. Wow, that's a lot of money being accumulated. All right. All right, we're going to take a commercial break now, guys. When we come back, we'll do more Tic Tac Dell. Stick with us, won't you? Okay.